Hello everybody, welcome back to another cook with me video. So today I am going to be using leftover pot roast to make a ragu sauce, I guess. I'm kind of using that term loosely. It's not an authentic ragu sauce. But basically, I am going to be making a meat pasta sauce with my leftover pot roast, and I will be mixing it with some pasta. Simple as that. This is a leftovers recipe, a round two recipe. I don't know what you call it. But basically, the other day, I made a delicious pot roast. By the way, the link to the, that video, to my pot roast recipe video, will be in the description below this video and at the end. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. So I'm using the leftover pot roast from that video and I'm going to make a pasta sauce. I say ragu sauce, probably not, it's not an authentic ragu sauce, but it's sort of what I'm leaning towards. So it's another cook with me video, trying to use some leftovers to make another delicious meal. I need to start cooking. Okay, everybody, so here is my, lefto Ooh, my leftover pot roast. So it's not much, but I can make a delicious meal out of these chunks of pot roast for at least four people. Now, all this juice and all this meat, nothing's going to waste. Even the little specks of some of the uh, rendered beef fat, it's all going in there. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I'm going to use to make this sauce. So definitely pot roast. I'm also going to be chopping one medium onion. I'm going to mince, oops, three cloves, two and a half, I don't know, this is a large clove, probably three cloves of garlic minced. I'm going to be adding some olive oil to saute this, and I will be adding some Italian seasoning, some crushed red pepper, and some crushed tomato. This is a 13.76 ounce or 390 grams of Italian crushed tomato. It doesn't have to be this brand, just whatever crushed tomato you have. And with that, I'm going to make a delicious sauce. So let's get started. Okay, everybody, so here's what I'm working with. I've cut up my pot roast. I basically just, oops, I've basically taken my kitchen shears and just kind of chopped it up just like this in all the juice. Mind you, if you look at my pot roast recipe, the juice that's in here, it's actually, um, it's actually reduced beef broth with red wine and some aromatics, so it's already flavorful and salted well. I'm going to be using two of these 13 ounce containers of crushed tomato. I have my onion chopped, three to four cloves of minced garlic, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, for those of you that always like to see what I'm using here. This is what I'm using, McCormick's Italian seasoning. And I have a quarter teaspoon, whoops. I have a quarter teaspoon of uh, crushed red pepper. Again, just what I find on sale at the store or available, crushed red pepper. So aside from the olive oil and maybe salt and pepper to taste towards the end, this is all that I'm using to make this delicious sauce. So let's go. Okay. So I am going to start, I have this pan preheating already. So I'm gonna start off with some olive oil and I'm going to work on cooking and sauteing my onion and garlic and all that jazz. So let's get started here. So here's my whole, I, I basically uh, chopped one medium to large onion. It was kind of somewhere in between. I'm going to season this with just a little bit of salt. And I'm basically going to cook these until they're translucent and sauteed nicely. Okay guys, so while my so while my onions are cooking, I just kind of wanted to come on camera and ask a question. Uh, this is a little quirk that I have. Maybe it's a quirk, maybe it's normal. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but 
raise your hand. Just kidding. Put in the comment section if you guys love leftovers. Um, I love leftovers. I, I remember when, you know, I was younger, single, and just kind of living on my own, not really grocery shopping for myself, and I would love to go raid my tia's uh, refrigerator. She always had leftovers, and I just, oh, I look forward to it. So something like pot roast or pasta sauces, especially spaghetti. By the way, I love cold spaghetti for breakfast. Leftover cold spaghetti. It's my favorite. Or leftover pizza with coffee. Cold pizza. I know I'm weird. I'm giving you guys some of my little weird, weird preferences there. But in the comment section below, do you guys love cold leftovers for breakfast? Yeah? No? Well, okay. How about this? Do you guys love leftovers? I love leftovers and I love it when I can create a second meal uh, for my family. So anyways, back to cooking the onions. Okay, so my onions are softened and translucent. So now what I'm going to do is go right ahead and add my garlic. Work with it quick because I don't want it to burn. Oh, this smells good. I'm going to go ahead and add my crushed red pepper. Just a little bit. Nothing to knock anybody over the head with this, but it's just another level of flavor for the sauce. And my Italian seasoning. I mean, I could just eat these onions. They smell so good. Okay, so now I'm just going to add my beef, and you're really not going to cook the beef long, but I do sort of want to start getting things a little loosey-goosey with the, the leftover sauce that was in there. Let's see here. I'm scraping everything, guys. I want it all. And again, this pot roast is basically uh, braised until it's tender. I, uh, I reduced the beef broth that it braised in with a cup of red wine. Gosh, it's, look, I literally could put this on pasta. Do I, I mean, that's it. It smells so good. So at this point, I'm just sort of breaking apart some of the chunks and letting, see how at the bottom that the the kind of like the coagulated solidified uh, juices and and broth it's kind of warm through so now it's liquidy so at this point I am going to add my crushed my crushed tomatoes and this basically those two containers measured out to around three cups of crushed tomato so right in right in just like that And this amount is perfect for four people, four servings, probably even six. I mean, it just depends if you like big servings or normal. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to just mix all this in. And gosh, it looks and smells so good. I kind of want to break up some of these chunks. I'm going to go ahead and go in with some pepper. And I honestly don't think it's going to need salt at this point because it was a well seasoned pot roast. So I'm just going to mix it all in. You know, if you had like some browned mushrooms you could add those some bell pepper or I don't know whatever you want to put in your pasta sauce go for it by the way on the side over here you can't see it I'm gonna start my pasta water because this is not going to simmer for 
hours because the pot roast is already tender but I do want things to sort of marry together and just you know but I gotta say it looks so good so basically I'm going to let this warm through and simmer you could add a little bit of like liquid if you want to add more beef stock or just a little bit of water but I think this is okay I'm gonna let this simmer and sort of reduce and just kind of cook and warm through and break apart and just kind of let it let it all become friends in this pan I'm gonna let it simmer okay guys so at this point I let it simmer for about 20 minutes because again this meat is already tender and done uh, and this sauce is pretty much done it tastes great already I checked it for seasoning and salt and it's fine it, it's good for us again check you know anytime you're cooking for yourself you want to taste and check for you know your seasonings if you want salt but I think this is well seasoned but I do want to reduce this to just kind of make it a really thick hearty sauce and I'm boiling my pasta water over here if you can see hold on here so I'm boiling my pasta water I'm going to be adding a a hefty pinch of salt in here mix it up and once it starts going and my sauce is reduced over here once my sauce is reduced I will uh, boil my uh, my pasta and let me show you the pasta that I got give me one second okay so this is the pasta that I bought today um, this was obviously you guys know I love to shop at HEB but I got some egg uh, pappardelle uh, pasta noodles and this is 8.8 .8 ounces basically half a pound uh, I'm not eating pasta this, these days so I didn't need to make a giant portion but a pound would definitely serve a, a good family size uh, dinner for four to six people but uh, and actually if I don't use the rest of that salt the sauce I'm gonna freeze it because we probably won't use it but anyways um, Definitely, I thought these uh, noodles would go perfect with this leftover pot roast ragu that I'm making. So again, you could use spaghetti, rigatoni, farfalle, whatever pasta noodles you want. Heck, use elbow macaroni. It, it all works. So back to my pasta sauce. Okay, so I'm back and my sauce has reduced. Look at this. What is the old, if you can stand your spoon in the middle, but this isn't deep enough, but like if I kind of pile it up like this, my spoon, it sticks straight up. Isn't that awesome? So this is a thick sauce, and this is what I like. It's just hearty and thick. My gosh. I hope you guys, if you have leftover pot roast, consider making this sauce. It's so good. And it's easy. Okay, so my sauce is done. I'm going to set this to the side for now. Turn this off because it is perfect everything's the meat and everything have had a chance to just simmer and reduce so let's move this to the back okay I'm gonna move that to the back and I'm going to show you what I'm doing with my pasta super easy let's just make pasta okay so my water is boiling I'm going to add a hefty <clears throat> handful of salt I'm using sea salt. I'm gonna give that a mix. And then I'm going to add my pasta. And I'm adding all eight ounces of this because this will be wonderful leftovers again for my husband's lunch tomorrow at work. So I'm all about leftovers and and not cooking tomorrow because this will serve this will this will make two meals again I mean can you imagine this is practically three dinners out of one pot roast recipe I love it so into these are the broken ones and the recommended cook time is like let's give this a zhuzh not too much is around I don't know 10 to 13 minutes I don't know we shall see okay now my pasta is pretty much done let me turn off the timer here so my pasta is done I'm going to drain the pasta water um, now if you're one of those that wants to like mix it in a separate pan reserve some of that pasta water uh, but what I'm going to do 
is actually just strain most of it. Some of it might stay at the bottom and I'm going to ladle in some sauce and mix it with the noodles, then I'll plate it. So let me go drain the noodles. I'll be right back. Okay, things are steamy. So here are my noodles. I left a little bit of pasta water at the bottom. Oops, sorry, that probably hurt your ears. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ladle in, I'll tell you what, let me give you a wider shot here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take some of this delicious sauce right into the noodles. Just a couple ladles. So now I'm just going to toss my noodles and just kind of give them a head start flavor-wise, even though they have, you know, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a sucker for pasta, even a simple just noodle with some olive oil and Parmesan cheese and I'm good to go. But anyways, so just kind of mix it in. And then I'm going to plate this and sauce it again on top. Okay, so here are my noodles. So what I'm going to do is you can see, ugh, it looks good like that, that chunk of meat, I want to eat it. Okay, so now I'm going to bring my sauce over here. And all I'm going to do is just ladle on some sauce right in the middle. And I think I want to get a little bit more on this side. Just like that. Let me bring you guys, if you guys can smell this, it smells so good. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, and all these little extra garnishes, don't go out and buy what I'm buying. Use what you have at home, but I'm going in with some freshly grated Parmesan cheese because yes, Parmesan cheese. Oops. And going in with some fresh, you can go with fresh parsley. I have chives I need to use. So just like that. You know what? And because I know this is my husband's plate, he likes freshly cracked pepper right on top. So here is a delicious leftover pot roast recreation into a delicious pasta sauce. Okay guys, so here is this delicious plate of pappardelle noodles with my pot roast ragu, I guess we should call it, leftover pot roast ragu. So I definitely hope, you know, these are tips that maybe you can use in your kitchen. Um, and again, I am a sucker for a good leftover. This smells amazing. and. My husband is like, can I eat it already? So I'm going to let him eat it. But until next time, until the next Cook With Me video, and by the way, I like to put a lot of information in the description below my video, so check that out. I'll put links to other videos that you might like, and also the recipe for the pot roast before I made it into a pasta sauce will also be there and at the end of this video. So I certainly hope you like this recipe. I hope you guys... Uh, give it a big thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if not, hey, at least we cook together. So until next time, bye.